let's move on to the next system that is circulatory system in circulatory system blood is circulated to transport oxygen and nutrients to every part of our body circulatory system consists of the following heart blood and blood vessels now let's look on to the heart blood and blood vessels heart it is a muscular organ conical in shape it is placed inside the rib cage between two lungs a heart is divided into four chambers two upper auricular and two lower ventricular the right side of the heart receives the deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body and pumps to the lungs and then the left side of the heart receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps to the other parts of a body blood blood is pumped to other body parts by heart it carries nutrients oxygen waste and hormones blood vessels there are two types of blood vessels arteries and veins arteries carry oxygenated blood whereas veins carry deoxygenated blood The next system of our body is excretory system. This system removes wastes from our body. Kidney, lungs, liver and skin together function as excretory organ. Let's look on to the detailed description about kidneys. Kidneys are bean shaped dark red in color and placed behind the abdomen. It filters the blood to remove waste in the form of urine. It is made up of millions of nephrons it is structural and functional unit of kidney next part about ureter it connects and carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder next urinary bladder it is a temporary storage organ of urine urine which comes through the ureter enter the bladder and fills the hollow space inside the bladder Urine is released from the body through the urethra.